Hi friends, it's Amanda. Welcome back for more Hip Kit Club inspiration with our gorgeous February kits. And design team assignment today is a product focus on those stickers that you see there on the screen. Those fabulous hello there um, golden fray stickers. This fabulous cut apart paper is called Right Now from the Pink Fresh Studio Noteworthy collection and these Pink Fresh Studio puffy frames as well. So lots of fun. I've got these fabulous photos of my daughter inside a life-size dollhouse. We were lucky enough to go and see the fabulous Tatsu Nishi's um, visionary artwork. It's it's just mind-blowing. You can actually walk through our life-size dollhouse. And I took the photos thinking that it was just a, a fun moment. And then I realized that it would be perfect for today's assignment to not only document them, but to create my own doll's house. So you'll see I've just drawn up a very rough doll's house template just on my sketch pad that I've cut out. And I'm now thinking of using the puffy frames to create windows within my doll's house to start with. So that's the first thing I'm doing. So that's the roofing piece you see in front of me. And I'm just going to decorate and create the window. I've just got a ye yellow gel pen so that it matches with that yellow um, frame there. And I'm going to quickly cut out some very rough curtains for my window as well because you have to dress your window. <laughs> and... Look, yeah, I'm just going to play with this whole idea of, of a doll's house because how could I document it any better? It's really cool. And in the Pink Fresh Studio, all the embellishments in this noteworthy collection, there's all these tiny little furniture pieces and pot plants and tables and I thought they were perfect. So I'm using some puffy sticker ones at the moment because they're super teeny tiny and they're perfect for, you know, perspective in the window as well. So, yeah, just attaching all that to the frame and, oh, yeah. Look at that. It's a little attic window with, yeah, all the furniture inside. So cardstock kit now and that gorgeous, lovely lilac colour that we've got and punched that one. And I've also got another scallop punch that I've used other pattern paper with, again, from the Pink Fresh Studio Note with the collection. And I'm just layering up my roofing <laughs> tiles. So I wanted it to look, you know, I use the scallop border punch to create that, um, I don't know, the, the roof tiles look. I don't know how to explain that. I'm sure that's the right words, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but you, you get what I'm meaning. That There we go. Look, there you can see it in action. And I've even made a trim for the window as well. So um, a little bit more scallop there for the other part of the roof trim. And you can see that's basically um, my plan. <laughs> um, I'm going to trim around the template here and use that beautiful petal soft basil cardstock for my um, front of house base and I literally just yeah trace around it and cut it straight out um, nothing fancy with me ever it's always simple and easy because yeah <laughs> we don't need to do tricky we can make it look tricky but we don't want to do tricky I'm going to avoid that as much as possible creating should be lots of fun um, the picture of my daughter there she's actually in the top floor of the attic I don't know if you can see in the photo the other the other attic window and I thought that would be a nice idea and I liked the idea of that circular frame going in the top window there. I've sped things up a bit. I did cut out some more pattern paper again from the Pink Fresh Studio Note with the collection and I'm just going to use that as my wallpaper for my other sections of my house and some white trim to go around everything. I've also gone and cut up that cut apart paper and you would have seen me use that lovely little note card that has a picture of a house on it, but that's actually going to be my front door and you'll see what I'm meaning in a moment with that. But first I need to trim around the outline of my house. that has got that lovely white finish on it. And yeah, that's the plan is that I'm going to have the little um, door at the front, which is actually a picture of a house, but yeah, we'll put a front, we'll put a doorknob on it and it'll work. We'll make it interactive and it will work. So I'm just trimming up my scalloped roof. And yeah, you can see how I'm going to add my photo with that frame there and have that, you know, that circular window effect that you normally see in an attic on a doll's house. It's going to go right up there. Um, the everyday life, um, I liked that because it was a life-size doll house and it was an everyday moment, but it was, you know, really cool. Um, but it's also from that cut apart sheet. So a great way to, again, to incorporate that cut apart element. And I'm going to mount everything onto that beautiful yellow cardstock because it's just bright and happy. And I, I think I couldn't have any more pink or blue. I think I needed to balance it. So, yeah, the yellow is lovely and it pops against the pretty um, purple colours as well. So 
just yeah putting everything together it's kind of like build your own doll's house day <laughs> there's it's not a really particularly tricky layout because it's really it was a very simple template but just playing with all the fun things and I think that's what one thing I do love about creating is when I use all the things so another one of those frames um more of those cut aparts you can see I've got the fun times um banner there I've got the sofa with the pot plants and things I'm going to make a whole room of that um, and feature that but first I want to get that other photo in and yeah I'm going to do it so that yeah when you use a little bit of washi tape and you have that little fold you get that effect of that's the door there and yeah I'm coming back to how I'm going to do the door opener I, I wasn't sure there more ephemera pieces everything today is pretty much pink fresh studio note with it. it just worked really well with this theme um yeah a little wood veneer enamel button um, for the doorknob it's super cute isn't it I'm really loving how this looks actually more furniture because it's a doll's house and I don't know if I would use sofas and things in my creating all that often but for this particular project it works really well so I just um, fussy cut out that um, fun times banner because I wanted it to look like yeah like it's actually a little um you know like a little wall hanging on the actual yeah on the wall <laughs> of the house because it is a real little house um and more furniture pieces i'm i'm having so much fun with all the um embellishments because they're all really really cute and really fun and yeah the front of that card actually was a little flower shop um or it said little flower shop so i did use a puffy sticker over the top that says um oh, i can't read it now <sighs> isn't that terrible my eyesight's terrible at night um something about never stop dreaming or yeah i think that's it don't let go of your dreams or yeah, I just thought it was a nice idea because everyone dreams of living in a doll's house at one point of their life. I'm sure we do when we're little and it's so fun. And yeah, it was really, to be honest, it's such an amazing exhibition too. It was wonderful to be able to walk through a life-size dollhouse and actually see, um, yeah, all the furniture and everything. All the walls were painted and it was it was just amazing. So, and it's I think it's only ever been in, on display either in Paris um, at the Tokyo de Palais. Uh, Tokyo to Paris, Paris to Tokyo, I don't know, it's been on display at the Tokyo um, Museum in Paris and and now in my local town, so I've been really lucky to have been able to go and see that, so um, adding in a title, it says The Doll's House, I added in Live in Wonder because, I mean, it, it just ties in perfectly, the Hello There stickers are, of course, phrase stickers are part of the um, design team brief today so I've used hello by the door because of course you say hello in come on in and I liked that um, and look just playing with embellishments look it's really I feel bad because it's not really a, um, a tutorial or anything today um, it was just a play I played with paper and it was fun and I think the whimsy whimsical nature of this particular um, photos and, and page is just yeah just too much fun more fussy cutting of those cut apart pieces from the right now paper and I'm adding in my own little um rainbow and clouds and oh aren't they really cute so the cloud is actually the reverse well it was the other side the b side of that same pattern paper so still focusing on that cut apart paper quite a lot added in a little sun embellishment from the mixed embellishment pack again from the pink fresh studio note with a collection I, look just everything in this worked really well with my design today it was just fun and whimsical um do need to add in a few more of those hey there phrase thickers those hello ones aren't they cute so we've got hello by the door and best ever doll's house yeah oh look I love this this is so fun open the door come on in oh it's just divine super cute super fun I hope I've inspired you to get creating and just use all the things and have fun with them today Thanks so much for watching. I've got lots of gorgeous close-ups coming for you. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for your hip kits so that you save, save, save. And I'll have all that information for you in the box below. And thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a wonderful, happy Archie days. Bye.